In this video, I'm going to share with you my quest for getting a good 3D printed speaker for my office. Even though I am a former recording engineer long time ago, I wasn't looking for something high-end, but something with acceptable sound. 3D printing is my hobby, so I wanted to use that. I made a lot of iterations of this enclosure, and it took a lot of printing time and filament. I don't think I ever printed so many hours for a single project. Was it worth it? Well, you can have a listen at some of the sound clips at the end of this video. I think this turned out pretty well. Not perfect, but absolutely usable. For this print I used Sunlu PLA for this white speaker, and I used the uh, Eson PLA Plus for the brown speaker you can see in some of the images. The printing time for the PLA speaker was 18 hours, and for the PLA Plus 15 hours. That was the default settings, and the PLA Plus prints a little bit faster in the default settings. I really didn't like the sound of the speaker from my first two attempts. Even after adding Jesmonite micro cement, it didn't get any better. I think it sounded like you had put a jacket over your speakers. It was that bad. The speaker was very cheap and it sounded cheap. It might have been better suited for a Ford Fiesta 81 model in the doors rather than in a near field speaker. I had to find something better. I did a search on YouTube and found this audio channel. I really liked his content, but he's using wood and of course I'm using 3D printed enclosures. Sound Imports in Netherlands sent me this box. Inside I should find four three and a half inch full range drivers. I was mainly interested in the Dayton point source series. I'm not expecting miracles from this small driver, but I expect a bit more open sound and maybe a little more brightness than the dull Rollstar speaker. Inside a small box You'll find a speaker driver with a relatively large magnet and this nice cover to protect the front. So far I really like what I see here. With the new drivers available I started to have a look again in Fusion and made a lot of different iterations. This enclosure has a volume of less than 2 liters. I wanted to make a closed and a vented version of this. The port width and length was calculated in a software called WinISD. It's a quite old version, I'm sure there's something new that's better now, but that's what I used. In the first revision of this uh, enclosure, I printed with the face down, with the speaker driver down. But then I thought about this, and I'm not restricted by square boxes or anything like that. I'm 3D printing, I can do whatever I like. And then I went to do a rounded corner box. Even the box with a square outside also has rounded corners inside, so they're exactly identical inside and the same volume. But I think this rounded version looks a lot better. The downside to doing it this way is that you get a lot of supports. I still wanted to keep this as one single piece as much as possible. It's impossible to demonstrate sound quality on YouTube, but you can compare these clips. All of the recordings were made with the Tascam DR-05 60cm in front of the speaker.
It's ten o'clock before I say a word Baby, I can never tell How do you sleep so well? You keep telling me to live the right To go to bed before the daylight But then you wake up before the sunrise You know you don't gotta pretend Baby, now and then Don't you just run away Cause I'm late I like my new speakers a lot better than the last ones. Both the vented and the closed version sounds good to me. The vented version does have a little bit more low end. Not a lot, but just a little bit. They are maybe a little bit bright sounding, but I can live with that. And it's easier to take something away than to add something that isn't there at all. Next for me will be to build something a bit larger and use the Smart Audio CHN50 speaker drivers. Shout out to DIY Audio for the suggestion of drivers and there's a link in the description. I never use affiliate links in my videos and this is no exception. In general I don't like to tell grown up people what to do but please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.